Are you thinking about moving to Florida? Well, I did. In this video, I'm going to give you my honest review of moving from Santa Monica to Fort Lauderdale. After watching this video, you'll know if Fort Lauderdale is right for you. My name is Adela Philipson, and I've been helping people buy and sell in the South Florida area for over three years. Now, if you're thinking about buying a home here in Florida, I have outlined the seven mistakes most buyers make in losing on their dream home. So if you want to avoid those mistakes, I have included a free report that you can go ahead and download in the description down down below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the difference between Santa Monica and Fort Lauderdale. First and foremost, as you can tell, it's a very windy day. This is something I never experienced in Santa Monica. It was a lot colder for me living in Santa Monica, especially because I lived along the beach. So it was always cold, but it was definitely not windy. If anybody is from Southern California, you may be familiar with the Santa Ana winds and that generally comes around in October. But here in Fort Lauderdale, the winds pick up and for the most part, it tends to happen between October up until the beginning of March. It's just like super really windy. No one ever really talks about that. The last thing you want to do right now is actually go to the beach and have the sand in your face. So it is windy. That's one of the differences of Santa Monica compared to Fort Lauderdale. But behind me, I do want to point out, so this is Bayview Elementary. It's a 10 out of 10 according to greatschools.org. And this is the reason I particularly moved into this area. When I lived in Santa Monica, not all the schools, all the public schools were great, but I happened to live in a particular affluent part of Santa Monica where the elementary school, the middle school, and even the high school were either a nine or a 10, which was fantastic for public. But here, this is the elementary school, which is a 10 out of 10. But after that, for middle and high school, I do have two children. Uh, they're 10 and 12. So I do actually have to put them in private school. So that is a huge difference that I have to experience with my family transitioning, moving from Santa Monica to Fort Lauderdale. So this is one of the great schools. Housing affordability. Now in Santa Monica, you cannot get a condo for under a million dollars, especially in the nicer affluent areas of Santa Monica, you're looking at like 1.5 for a two bedroom, one bath condo or something. But here, that house is on the water. It's about 12,000 square feet. It's probably about 15 million. Whereas across the street on a dry lot, this one's much smaller. Definitely looks like it needs a little bit of TLC. Well-maintained, much older roof. That's about 1.2 million. Now this one right next door to this nice new one, this would probably go for about 12 million. Yet right across the street, this one right here would probably go for about 1.5 because it's much larger. So this is Middle River Drive. I'm right in uh, Coral Ridge neighborhood in Fort Lauderdale. But I do want to show you that there are some condos, townhouses that you can get uh, that are significantly less expensive than this particular area, still in the same neighborhood. That wouldn't happen in Santa Monica. You'd have to go like closer to the free freeway, further away from the nicer parts of Santa Monica to even get something decent, or maybe even move to the valley. If you're familiar with the South LA area, you have to really be like 45 minutes, an hour outside of the nice neighborhoods just to have something in the 500s. So I actually went ahead and jumped on my bike here, but I wanted to show you. So these condos behind me, those go for about 400,000. I love this building. This building's actually on the water. These units go for about 300,000 um, and they're very spacious. Two bedroom, two bath. They have a pool. All those units pretty much overlook the water. I mean, come on, 300,000. I do that. And this happens to be one of my favorite buildings. This building is similar to that last one. These go for about between 300 to $400,000 condos overlooking the water. They even have a pool. It's just absolutely amazing that we're still in the same neighborhood where those 15, $12 million homes um, were. And even here, they have multi-units down this street. There's even a bed and breakfast. And these uh, townhouses are super cute. There's actually a little pool um, that can be shared with all the owners. They're doing some work as, of course, uh, if you haven't heard, a lot of buildings are going through a lot of reconstruction here in the Fort Lauderdale area. Um, so, but those are small. They're like two bedroom, two bath, under a thousand square feet, two story, super cute. Um, but there's a lot that Fort Lauderdale has to offer that Santa Monica never really did in terms of options for people moving here. Santa Monica was very condo living. Yeah, there were some townhomes, but the townhomes were even way more expensive than the condos. 
Um, and unless you had multi-millions, you couldn't really afford a home there. So these are really good options. Great neighborhood in Fort Lauderdale. Um, it's kind of why I moved here. And listen, maybe you're still trying to figure out if you want to move to Fort Lauderdale. There's even apartment buildings here. So maybe if you want to try it out, you can end up renting here. You're going to be looking between 2000 to 3000 a month um, for a two bedroom, two bath. Now, still comparing Santa Monica to Fort Lauderdale, I used to walk around or bike around or scooter around. I almost never got in my car unless I was going to work, which by the way, was about 45 minutes each way. I used to work at Viking River Cruises. Great company, still love them. Um, but Fort Lauderdale, yes, I'm in a bike lane. I'm going to get off. I don't want to, someone accidentally hit, <laughs> hit me but we just don't have as many as uh, Santa Monica. Fort Lauderdale is improving. They're ch making changes. They're trying to include more bike lanes, but it definitely has a long way to go comparing to Santa Monica. Um, I like to be more of an outdoors person, not necessarily hiking, but I definitely love going to the beach, riding my bike, going for a walk in the mornings before I start my day. Um, so that's kind of the, you know, something to think about when it comes to coming from Santa Monica to Fort Lauderdale. Now, what's really cool about Fort Lauderdale is that this is really a water lifestyle. I mean, come on, the boats, you could easily just drop your kayak or paddle board right here and just take off. Across the way, if you see in the distance, that's actually a state park. Um, so when it came to Santa Monica, it was just like a cliff if you've ever seen it just drops down and it's this massive um, sand and yeah you could surf but you got to make sure to wear a wetsuit because it's absolutely freezing here people come and will go fishing so just kind of like pull over so it's just a completely different lifestyle which we have really enjoyed i think my husband and i had to get used to were the gym options when we belonged to santa monica we were members at equinox we actually originally met at sports club la um, but the fourth level right here is Powerhouse Gym. That is about $70. And we thought that was a steal because we were paying $250 each to belong to Equinox. So when we were actually moving from Santa Monica, the first thing we Googled was what's the closest location, Equinox location. That was down in Miami. We don't know the quality of memberships or gyms um, that are available because we love to work out. Um, but this one is actually really nice. It's newer. Um, I want to say it's about three years now. It opened towards the end of the pandemic. Um, but then we ended up switching to LA Fitness because we thought, you know what, why are we spending all this money? We can, we can actually save. Um, now we are members of Planet Fitness and we pay $10 a month. That is a huge difference. We could not find that in Santa Monica when we lived there. We would have had to drive 20 minutes to an LA Fitness just to go work out versus walking five blocks to Equinox. So yeah, we paid the price for convenience. Now, if you're still thinking about moving to Fort Lauderdale, or maybe just Florida, go ahead and check out this video as to why people are moving to Florida.